iOS has been around for eight years, and in that time you've seen a lot of gestures and shortcuts come and go. To that end, let's take a look at some of the lesser known shortcuts that we might have forgotten about or you might not even know about. Some of the best stuff comes in Safari. Did you know you can open up recently closed tabs? Just touch the tab view and then hold down on the plus button to open up all your recently closed tabs. Likewise, when you're scrolling around you might miss that little toolbar at the bottom. All you have to do to get it back is tap towards the bottom of the screen. Also, if you're using content blockers to reload a site without them, just tap and hold the refresh button until the new pop-up comes up. You can also rearrange tabs. Just open up the tab menu, tap and hold the tab you want to move, and slide it to the new position. Photos has some interesting stuff in it as well. When you're looking at a photo to get rid of it and go back to the camera roll, just slide down on the photo. You can also select multiple photos at once. Just tap the select button, tap one photo, and then tap all the subsequent photos that you want to select. Photos also has a handy scroll function. Tap the top of the menu bar to head to the very top of your camera roll, and then tap the bottom to head to the bottom. iOS 9 also finally added the ability to zoom in on videos. Just pinch and zoom just like you normally would in a photo. Moving on to other apps, the music app has a scrubber that you can move left and right on easily enough, but if you want to adjust those increments, you can tap and hold the scrubber, then move your finger up and down to change the scrub speed. If you want to quickly select a symbol, just tap and hold the 1, 2, 3 button, and then select the symbol you want. When you're done, it'll go right back to the regular alphabet. If you happen to hit an incorrect number on the calculator at any point, you just need to swipe left or right to delete the last digit. You can do that as many times as you need to. If for some reason the app store isn't properly refreshing for you, you can tap any of the icons on the toolbar ten times to force a refresh. I don't know how useful that'll be, but it might come in handy at some point. When you're composing a message in mail, you can swipe down on the new message to go back to the inbox. We all know that you can zoom in in increments in maps by double tapping it, but if you tap with two fingers, you zoom back out in those same increments. This isn't one of Apple's apps, but it's worth noting anyway. In Google Maps, if you double tap and then swipe up and down, you can zoom in and out, which makes zooming in with one finger a lot easier. As always, keep your eye on Lifehacker for tons more tips and tricks for using iOS.